John, what are you up to? You absolute maniac. Get out the road. Some fossils. What do you mean you're looking for fossils? Recently, we tried to print some bone-like models and really try and achieve that realistic effect. Many people online recommended staining with tea bags or coffee grounds to get that warm look. However, when we looked online, there were many conflicting answers about which material or which method works best. So what we did was pick out the three best materials and best methods that would produce the best results. The first material we're going to try our staining tests on are our PLA fossil demos. One of them we're going to rub the tea bags onto by hand, and the other will submerge in water with a tea bag for 30 minutes to see the result. Here's our first demo. So what we're going to do with this one is rub it carefully with these tea bags here. They're quite dry at the moment, so what I'm going to do is just dip it in the little mug of water we got here. I'm going to make sure it's nice and damp. Give it a little squeeze just so you're not getting water everywhere. And what we're going to do is softly and repeatedly rub it onto the surface of the model and try and cover as much surface area as possible. So what we're going to do now is leave it to dry. So here's our next demo, the PLA fossil, as you can see here. Pop it in there. Okay, so what you need is some room temperature water and some more tea bags. So what we're going to do is just submerge the fossil and ensure it doesn't float. Okay, so what we want to do is hold it down to make sure all the air has left the model so it can stay under the water. Okay, so what we're going to do now, pop our tea bags in, one, two, and three. I'm going to give it a little swish about, just to make sure that tea spreads in there, maybe you see that happening. Maybe give them a little bit of a massage, make sure it's going in there. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to do now is leave it 30 minutes, come back later and see the results. So, we've now waited half an hour with our fossil PLA demo in the bucket here. So we're going to take it out, have a look. Wherever it is, here it is, lovely. Because it did float a little bit in the water, we used a tea bag to weigh it down and I'm not impressed with the result. Uh, the underside um, has got some browning to it. The top has barely any at all. So what we might do, is we'll leave this for another hour and see what result we get from that. So I'll pop that back under the tea bag there. The water is looking a bit dark and earlier, which is promising. So now let's look at the one we rubbed down. There it is. Um, yeah, it's again, this is browned a lot more than the one in the water. But as you can see, um, uh, the sides aren't quite brown. Uh, the bottom needs a bit more, as does the top. So what I'll do is I'll give this another rub down and then leave it a bit longer. I'll just dip that in the tea water that's in the bucket. I will leave it a little bit moister than last time, just so more water can get into the uh, small details on the model. And again, I'll rub it carefully as to avoid splitting the tea bag. I'm uh, doing a dabbing motion now. That seems to spread out more water on the model. Make sure it's fairly well covered. I'll give it another quick out in the water. Lovely. We're looking a bit darker now on the top, so what we'll do is I'll leave that to dry for a bit longer, just on the side outside. Oh, 
So, we left our demos to simmer overnight. This is the one that was submerged in the bucket of tea water. As you can see, uh, the back looks really nice, but the rest of the model is almost completely white still. We did leave it completely submerged underwater, being weighed down by another tea bag. And this one is the one we rubbed with tea bags. It's got a, uh, a much better result come out of it. You can still uh, see lots of uh, brown on the edge and on the bottom. So we're going to be using the rubbing method for our ABS and our PETG. Now we've finished our tests, here's the results. Our PLA got some lovely browning around the edges, on the top and the bottom. Our ABS uh, absorbed the tea staining quite well, giving it quite a, quite a good look. The worst of the three, however, was our PETG, which only absorbed the tea staining in very specific areas. Now obviously, you can keep going over the models with the tea bags and let them dry and then keep going again to get stronger and stronger results. Or you can always go with something like Bone White PLA from eSun, which gives a realistic look right off the bat. So, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like. Also, if you're going to try this out yourself, feel free to leave, uh, feel free to leave a comment on your experiences of trying this method. Don't forget to like, subscribe, we'll see you next time. If you would like to use these specific materials, the links are in the description for both 1.75mm and 2.85mm.